What's up? This is Keith Kelfis. We're at Weingart's at the 2020 Open House in Utica, Michigan. This place is packed right now. I've never seen this many people here. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, it's definitely packed. We're looking for the X mark walk behind Dow. Guys, right here. Oh, here it is. Thank you, sir. You're, you're welcome. Uh, this one's new this year. It's more heavy duty. New? It's got the Can Kohler. I tape you? Yeah. It's got the uh, Kohler Command Pro on it. This is last year's model. It still has got the Kawasaki motor on it. Yeah. So, 1999 for this guy, 2299 for this guy. This one's more heavy duty than this one. Uh, the only issue you may have with this is you can kind of vary uh, variable speed here. This guy here, you pull this back and you are gone. You're gone. You're gone. Nice. Thank you. Oh my God, Mike Clancy is here. Mike Clancy's in the house, dog. I just texted you, bro. They rush for the doors and they open like this. Pin stroke, game code in the fridge. Sound wave for like more than the clicks. Tower of Bunnies hurt the world for my shit. Ayy, wait. Being gritty, don't pity. They full thing with me, been real. Fuck trending, I'm hype, I'm litty. Been the sense from this, don't play game with me. I volley these hits like I play tennis. I drink this shit, now I never don't pitch. I need So that was Mike Clancy. I worked for him for like two years. And he's a great guy. I feel horrible that I smashed one of his plow trucks one night. It was like literally like two feet of snow. And I had a manhole cover. It was bad. But everything has come back on me. My karma, it's all over now. He's not mad. It's interesting, a lot of people in our industry are like, been in business so long, you're just desensitized to anything anymore. You've been through it all. And, uh, just in the moment. But you don't get overly excited anymore about things either. That's another interesting thing. I think the Billy Goat was what they were giving away at that one. Yeah, the Billy Goats. Dope. What's up now? What's the thing? Hey! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? What's up, man? How nice are you? Idea. How's everything? You about to get some steak? Oh, yeah. You eat? We're about to eat right now. That's my dude, Chris's lawn care. In 2016, we were at the, the dump at the same time, and he said he mows 60 lawns a day. So I made a video called Dude Mows 60 Lawns a Day. And everybody in the comments was like, Oh, you don't mow 60 lawns a day. They're saying that he was lying. Saying it's actually impossible. I'll put a link below to that video. Hi, Wait. Austin. Hi, Austin. Austin. Dizzy. What up, pimp? What's up, dude? What up, pimp? What's up, pimp? Oh, dude, this is like the jailhouse rock in here. Look at all this. Oh, I know. Look at the food. What? This is my dude right here, Austin Dizzy. Do I even say your name right? Dizzotel. Dizzotel? Yeah. But I say, I say Austin Dizzy. How long have you been in business, man? Four years. Four years? Yep. Are you swamped? Right now, no. But yeah, during the summer. How old are you? 23. Look at this luxurious beard he has. It doesn't even have any gray in it. Oh, there's gray. No, there's not. He's 23. Mm -hmm. So you're 23, you got a wife and kids? No, I got a girlfriend. Oh. I mean, you're 23. You should have a, a mortgage and a wife and three kids and Roth IRA. Yeah, I mean, I could. A head but, full of gray hair. But I'm not. I'm not stressed like somebody. Yeah. Just kidding. Right. No, it's fun, you know. I know with Keith Elfis, the man, yeah. the man, the legend, the legend. You got a YouTube channel, though, yep. what is it? 
This is Lawn and Snow. Just type that in. This is Lawn and Snow. Yep. Nice to see you all over the hey. internet. No oh, man, get out with that. He doesn't shit. want to be. No. <laughs> I, I got enough. I got enough business. I don't, hey, I don't need no more. This is the guy I gave all my lawn care accounts to. Oh, my snow guy. This is dope. Look at this. It's a wine guard tag. I need to put it on right now, man. 81. And I guarantee you, he'll work your ass. He's he'll a work a little tighter. He works the shit out of me. Can I have it? That's great. Types of awesome equipment, mowers, power equipment, brand new models coming out this year. Look at this Makita, battery operated, is taking over the industry. And look at this. We got the wife of Trump. Hi. 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 Austin is in the house. Look at this. I want to go to some of my favorite stuff, steel, chainsaws, power, pruners, loppers, and they got the new battery operated stuff too. Let's take, let's take a look. Oh, there it is, battery operated. Oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. I'm gonna get the battery operated, uh, power, everything battery operated. Everything battery operated. Hands down. People are like, why don't you just stop, Kelp? Just stop and just, just videotape one thing at a time. Okay. I'll videotape this. This is the worst saw ever. The 170. This is not a commercial saw, man. It's not a commercial saw. If you do get a chainsaw, don't get this if you're trying to do commercial work. Now, however, Steel's other saws, that are the Pro Line models, are incredible. It's a difference. I bought the saw and I abused it. I mean, that's why it's <laughs> We got everything. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I'm fired up. Spring's right around the corner, a couple weeks, dude. My blood is pumping. She's like, why do you even bring me to these things, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Wait, are you coming over to my house Friday? Yeah. It's Mark. He's coming over to my house Friday. <laughs> I literally was just uh, hanging out with Daniel Mirabal, certified arborist from Chicago, and he was talking about you and saying you just know your stuff, dude, so well. Good, good. He's coming over to my house Friday. We're gonna do a couple videos on uh, uh, chainsaw trimmer, just overall safety, so stay tuned for that. What's your last name again? Parker. Okay. Mark Parker, okay. How to properly chart, start a chainsaw safely. This is Mark Parker, and he's the technical field specialist for steel mm -hmm. power tools. Yep. And, bro, you travel all over the country, you teach uh, safety and do demonstrations. Yep. You're the man. Absolutely. Look, so, he knows he's the man, and he's gonna show us how. <laughs> so, 
When you are starting a chainsaw, there's some common misconceptions and some things that people do that are uh, not proper. So there's three proper ways to start a chainsaw. One is in between your legs right here, where I have three points of contact, and I'm able to pull the saw over right here, right there, safely. Another way to do it is to put the saw on the ground, you put your boot through the handle right here, then you're able to come down and you're able to pull the saw over right there. The third way, and probably one of my favorites, is if you put your knee actually on the shroud right here, and you're able to pull the saw over. Those are the three ways that you should start an operating chainsaw. So the three ways. Go back and watch that again. And then any other tips about when you're starting the saw, make sure you take it off of high idle. Don't leave the chain brake on right when you start it. You start it with the brake on, and then make sure you hit the trigger to take it off high idle. If not, right here inside, you'll roast the brake, and you'll roast the uh, all the mechanisms inside here. So, because it sets its idling so high. So right here, uh, I'm holding the 362CM. Uh, great saw. Now, uh, according to the ANSI standards, just to even start a saw, are you supposed to be wearing a helmet and eyeglasses and gloves and so chaps? You, you want to have the entire, you want to have a helmet with earring protection, you want to have your chaps, you want to have gloves, you want to have safety glasses, you want to have all of that stuff. You want to also be wearing leather steel toe boots when you are operating chainsaws. Awesome advice, man. Thanks, Mark. And then. He's gonna be coming over, uh, over actually to my garage and we're gonna do some safety videos, so stay tuned for that in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. How can people find more videos and more training by you? So you can Google Mark Parker Steel. You can find me on there. Um, I know there's some stuff on YouTube. Just search Mark Parker Steel. Um, and then you can also find me on Instagram at Mark Parker 567 Look at this safety helmet. Right now we're here with Mark Parker from Steel and he's gonna talk about exactly why would you use this whole contraption versus just maybe a set of earplugs and a hard hat and a pair of glasses. Why would you use this? So the, He's the certified technical field uh, specialist for Steel, so he teaches safety, this guy's the man. So when you have a whole helmet uh, system like this, the, the important thing is to make sure everything's all working together. So you wanna have, I prefer over the ear earmuffs right here because your hearing isn't just done inside of your ear, but it's also done behind your ear. So these things go over your entire ear to protect it. You want to check the foam padding on the inside of the helmets. On the inside of the pads, you can pull that out and check it. Make sure it's not disintegrating or anything like that. Make sure those work properly. On the inside here, there's a manufacturer's date um, right there. So, right there, okay. This helmet it. was made in May of 2019. Ah. So, this helmets are good for five years or unless they're compromised elsewhere. Dude, I need to replace my helmet because it's outdated. Yes. So, here's, and you check helmets by squeezing them right here, looking in the back, looking for any uh, cracking or anything like that. And you want to make sure the entire helmet system works together, such as the suspension. So give it a couple punches and you're good to go. I also recommend people to wear safety glasses underneath the shield just because things can still come through this wire mesh shield and uh, penetrate. So wear ANSI certified safety glasses while you're operating the helmet. Nice. And then what is the shield for? Is that so, just when you're operating a chipper or when you're up in a tree? So you can move above it. So this shield, it'll help keep wood chips off your face. It'll help keep debris from flying into your face. But there's still a chance a nail or something, because sometimes when we're cutting into things, there, there could be things embedded into the wood. You have nails, uh, staples, stuff like that. So the mesh screen it's something of protection but I would go the extra layer and wear safety glasses either sunglasses or the clear ones in order to make sure you're the most protected Mean green mower. 
tires, huh? I like it. I like those wheels because there are no wheels. It's dope. It's like a mag rim. That's a bridge. Nice, nice, nice. Man, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. A lot of cool stuff. So we have a some important meetings and I'll see you on the flip-flop.